hello guys welcome once again to our channel my name is Velilene Ngozi in today's video I'm looking at the previous question paper It's for a common test that was written in March 2024 so this question paper is for life sciences uh, grade 12 uh, March common test 2024 and uh, today I'm looking at the section B uh, question 2 so this question is based on the DNA, a code of life specifically, is for the protein synthesis. So here is the question paper. This is the information. So then here are the questions. If you want to try the questions before you see the solutions, you can post the video here, then try to answer these questions. So without wasting more time, let's get to it. Two point one. The diagram below shows part of the process of protein synthesis. So here we are being told that this is the protein synthesis, and then we know that protein synthesis is divided into two phases. We have transcription and we have translation. So transcription occurs in in the nucleus of a cell, while a uh, translation occurs in the cytoplasm. Then what we see here, we see this which is a single strand so a single strand this is not a dna it's a mrna so it's a messenger rna and then we know that the messenger rna pairs with grna so this is the translation it's not a transcription this is a translation so this is trna and the trna carries amino acids so this is the amino acids these are bonding okay so let me give the labels before i go with the questions let me start with r so r is amino acid and then p p is the messenger rna which is which is mrna and then q because this is the mrna and then three consecutive nitrogenous bases of an mrna are called codons so q is codons we call it a codon so here we have uracil so because this is the trna so this is an uracil and then this is cytosine and then this is adenine this is adenine and another information here it say uh, this line shows base pairing so if you can see this dotted line shows that this u has pairs with this uh, base here so if this is u and then this base here is uh, a this base here is a and then if this is cytosine has pairs with the second last so this is uh, guanine so here we've got g and then a so here we've got u again because this is a mrna it's an rna molecule so rna molecule do not have a thermine instead of thermine we put uracil so this is u g this is u and this is a so these are the this is the information that uh, I, I took it out so let me get to the questions so question number one 2.1.1 say identify molecule r so 2.1.1 molecule r is amino acid and then identify molecule p molecule p so here is, is is a and then b so molecule p is mrna so these are the the molecules we identify them then let's go to the next question the next question say write down the sequence of the dna base triplet complementary to the codon q so like in a previous slide we said uh, on the mrna this is the mrna we say this is uh, a and then the middle one it's g and then the last one it's u 
so because this is mrna and mrna pairs with the dna this information is from the dna so that is mean this uh, was paired with t so here t and then g pairs with c while u pairs with a so 1.2 the sequence is t c a so this is the sequence for the dna this is the information from the dna so this is the sequence and then we go to 2.1.3 say state one significance of the nitrogenous basis sequence on the mrna molecule we know that the nitrogenous basis of the mrna molecule is to copy the information from the dna so that a protein will be synthesized from this information so dna do not leave the nucleus only mrna is the one that move out of the nucleus to the cytoplasm so the function of the nitrogenous basis of the mrna is to determine the sequence of amino acid that form proteins so two Point one point three is two is to determine the sequence of the amino acids that form protein. So this are taking the information from the DNA so that the a protein will be formed. And then uh, the next question two point one point four explain the effect if there was a change in the sequence of the triplet in question 2.1.2 so in question 2.1.2 so the sequence was a uh, t c a so this is the sequence of the, the the dna so if this sequence maybe has changed and then there, there will be some changes the sequence of the mrna is also going to change and then the different uh, tRNA will be brought to deliver a different amino acid so because here is three max yeah the, here is three max this is three so uh, let me write so if there is a change in a sequence so there will be a change in a sequence of the base of mRNA so so mRNA sequence will change and then which may lead to a different tRNA and then this will bring a different tRNA and then a different amino acid so this tRNA will bring a different amino acid and then this will resu result with the formation of different protein So yeah, this is how we explain the effect of if there is a change in sequence of the triplet in question 2.1.2. So if this is not T TCA, so if it's something else and then this process will take place, the mRNA sequence or base sequence will change and then which may lead to the different tRNA and then the tRNA will bring a different amino acid and then the amino acid they will result with a different form of protein so this is how we explain if there is a mutation so then go into the next question the next question say name the organelle where proteins are synthesized in a plant cell so this one is the ribosome 2.1.5 it's ribosome so protein is synthesized in a ribosome on a plant cell so this is the last question if you have watched this video to this far please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel uh, if you are studying i say good luck with your studies thank you very much god bless you